Florida is home for 44 species of snakes last recorded by the FWC. Of those snakes, there's always a few that stand out. When you're in Florida, you think of the short tail snake and you think of the other snakes from the sand hills like H. Simus, Southern Hognose snakes and Pitotophus pine snake. But there's a snake that is pretty interesting and not often seen with a kind of a small range also, and that's the South Florida Mole King snake. Um, very interesting snake. Uh, small range in South Florida. But the South Florida Mole King wasn't described until 1988, sometime in the late 80s. So it wasn't even in a field guide I had as a young child. So it's a pretty interesting snake. Uh, a lot of people confuse it for other snakes like corn snakes. So let's go take a look at the South Florida Mole King snake. South Florida Mole King prime habitat is open prairie. This open prairie is in Southern Florida. And these open, large, open storied fields with grasses and palmettos patched in is the prime habitat for South Florida Mole Kings. And old cattle fields that were once prairie. These habitats are still suitable for South Florida Mole Kings. And they've also been found on the roads near these types of habitats. South Florida Mole King snakes are a very fossorial and cryptic snake. These snakes are rarely seen above ground, but can be found crossing roads when pressures are at their lowest or dropping. Sometimes rain fronts during the spring and summer can bring them up and can be found on roads or out on the crawl. But these snakes have been found to be very, very hard to locate, thus making them a very, very interesting find. Adult South Florida Mole King snakes are about 30 to 42 inches in total length. Adults are a grayish color, brown or tan, with at least 75 black bordered reddish brown or olive colored blotches down the body and tail. South Florida Mole King snakes are often confused and mistaken for red rat snakes, making this even more difficult. Also in their range, red rat snakes can be lacking in the red color, which is called anatheristic or anery. Unfortunately, are also found in some of the areas that the South Florida Mole King snake is found. You can see here the checkerboard belly pattern on the corn snake or red rat snake. South Florida Mole King's diet. These snakes are heavily reptile eaters. They love to eat snakes and especially glass lizards. Skinks are also eaten and occasionally small mammals, especially rodent nest, are raided. Gravid females have been found in February, so it is assumed that breeding may start in early to mid-February and last until March. But some animals have also been found gravid in April. 5 to 11 eggs are deposited underground. The eggs take 31 to 62 days to develop. Hatchling South Florida Mole King snakes are around six to seven inches at birth. They look very similar to their parents 
with maybe a little bit of a lighter silver ground color. Like other king snakes, they are threatened by habitat destruction, fragmentation, alteration of local hydrology, and direct mortality from roads. There's one more thing I, I forgot to mention in the habitat. They'll live in old groves, orange groves. That was once prairie habitat in South Florida. These uh, fossorial snakes can uh, live in lots of microhabitats also. But anyway, there's one more Caligaster. It's uh, in North Florida in the Panhandle, the North Florida Bull King Snake, and uh, that may be a future project. So anyway, stay tuned and check out more of my videos.